Hey Brendan, how you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, good mate. Um, it was a huge turnout today for the uh, uh, demonstration. Do you have a message for the government that uh, you'd like to send? It's about time they change course. Hundreds of thousands of people have given them a clear message here today. pushing the economy back into at worst a double dip recession but at best with only low growth along the bottom. What we know for sure is that these cuts are going to cost hundreds and hundreds of thousands of jobs and how does that help cut the deficit when instead of people being in work and paying taxes they're out of work reliant on the benefit system. That's not going to help get our economic get, get our economy straight in. Yeah but the same has been true in the public sector. I mean this idea that uh, Everyone in the public sector has been living, you know, high on the hog or whatever. It's simply not the case. Uh, for most groups of public service workers in the last two or three years, pay hasn't been keeping pace with inflation. But now, now they're faced with the prospect of a pay freeze for two years. Their pensions are under threat. Massive job insecurity. This is a very bleak scene. But you know, it's not only public services going to be hit by these cuts. The government spends £200 billion a year on buying goods and services off the private sector. The private sector is going to be hit hard too. Well, I don't think they did attach themselves uh, to us and there were nothing to do with it. That isn't uh, clouded by reporting of whatever else has been happening in other parts of London. 